So. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This thing is all participants. I am Bujibu from Vietnam. I'm working in the Rai Research Institute in Mekong Delta. Yeah. Excuse me. So actually, now I have received uh, uh, my data. I think it's appropriate uh, to uh, share it with uh, the colleagues. So uh, just if you take one minute. Professor uh, Wu, uh, he is an agronomist from Vietnam. And he did his dissertation from CRRI. And he was at uh, IRI, IRI. He became professor in 2004. And uh, he did his postdoc from Texas in Vitek. And uh, during his uh, career, uh, mainly he was involved with the rice germ plant conservation. And he emphasized on wild rice with Professor S.D. Sarma. And uh, he started doing work with the molecular building, developed several uh, salt tolerant lines. He is a uh, vice president of uh, Vietnam Academy of uh, Agriculture Sciences. So with this brief introduction, I am inviting Professor Bu Wu to share his views. Professor Bu. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, today I uh, would like to uh, share with you the story why does Vietnam agriculture uh, get the, uh, uh, the progress. This is the lesson from India Green Revolution to uh, Vietnam agriculture progress. Uh, in, in case the study, in case study of uh, rice science only, uh, capacity for on rice science. Next slide, please. Okay, you, you know well the, the quote by the uh, very big man, everything can wait, not agriculture. You know why? After the war, mostly 60% of the key city in Vietnam destroyed completely. And after that, we pay more attention to water management uh, due, due to the, the Nehru quote. We don't wait. And we pay the investment accounted for 70% of uh, agriculture budgets 20 years continuously. So why? The rice cultivation in Vietnam received 85% irrigated rice. Next slide, please. The Green Revolution uh, come from uh, Bolot with uh, three features. Number one is the new variety with uh, uh, modern improved uh, the structure. Number two is the fertilizer uh, response. Number three is the irrigation uh, plus mechanization. And uh, since the, the decade of uh, 1960, the India, the first country in Asia, uh, very, very shining about the agriculture. Next slide, please. This is the, our, own, our uh, red picture, Dr. Swaminathan. He came to Vietnam in 1980, and uh, he, he received the function by the late uh, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. She would like to give the, our Prime Minister Pham Vang Dong two gifts. Number one is the Rai Research Institute in the Mekong Delta. Number two is the Buffalo Research Center. It's the Mura, Mura, Mura Buffalo in uh, the, the, near the Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, today, only Rye Research Institute in Mekong Delta, you know, we, get, we are getting along. And then uh, this, the, uh, I, I remember my, my teacher so much because he, uh, he went to our institute in uh, um, 1980, and after that, he received the work. He the first book, agriculture scientist get the, 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 for the food prize, one food prize in uh, 1987. Next slide, please. And the three, uh, the three people who, 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 has the, who have a very great contribution to, to Vietnam. Number one is the Dr. Siddick, he the first uh, scientist to, uh, to write the, um, the project with us. 
Number two, number two is Dr. S. Devaratu in uh, Central Rail Research in Katak in uh, National Rail Research Institute in Orissa. Uh, during his system, you know, we send a lot of uh, 40 people to get a PhD in India. Number three is the, the very important uh, man. He is the first uh, consulate in Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Singla. Singla. He opened the way. Uh, this uh, to to start the very long, uh, very long uh, journey to go to India for uh, strengthening the scientific man power. Next slide. Okay, 1985. Uh, my teacher, Dr. Sumanathan, came again to our institute to check the, uh, the, the, the preparation of uh, in infrastructure to how to construct in, in, in Kanta City. Next, please. You know, this the, the Indian expert working at Uri. Most of them come from Tamil Nadu. Uh, the, the left side is the Dr. Professor Chantra Mohan for Twitter. Dr. P.K. Singh in uh, Bihar University, and the team leader is Dr. Kandahua Swawami, in pathologist in Tamil Nadu. Next. And the uh, Indian expert work at the IRI from uh, New Delhi, in, from IRI, Dr. Mida, a nematologist, uh, Dr. Bagal, a physiologist. Uh, he, he created the theory of singing source, the relationship and he also the father of, he helped me how to release the, the new variety to, to tolerant to the heat, the heat, heat tolerant rise of breathing due to uh, uh, his uh, theory on uh, grand fueling, grand fueling theory. And um, Dr. Kiki Jina, a very close friend with me to, to deal with the blast disease, and Mohanti to deal with the economic and social science. Next, please. Yes, this is the, our, our respectable uh, teacher, uh, Dr. Kush, Dr. Chopra, and Dr. Uh, Dr. Pra. Unfortunately, Dr. Chopra and Dr. Pra uh, passed away recently. Uh, I, I remember our teacher, this, uh, the, the, our great teacher, takes uh, from the heart, not from the book. And, Due to the, their, their respectable character like this, we, we uh, give up uh, very, uh, very soon. Next, please. We, uh, six, um, the, the decade of 1990, we start this uh, project, so-called the introgression, the target gene, the target gene from white rice to uh, cultivars. And uh, Dr. Pra, he's, uh, my, also my teachers, they, they, he, he uh, cooperate with me and he uh, uh, have a, a plan to, uh, how, to, to, how to use the, the wild, wild species in the Mekong Delta. The wild species just, we received the, my, my teacher, is uh, Dr. L.D. Sharma in Katak. Uh, I, I learned the, how, how to classify the wild, wild species. Next, please. And I think this very important uh, leaders, the future depends on what you do today. So we, we, we base on this, uh, this quote, we, uh, we, we, we have to prepare very quickly, even though in our country it's very difficult. We received the embargo by US. We received uh, the, the war from China and from in the, the west side in Cambodia. Uh, after destroying the American war, we recover our economics very quickly, quickly, and we face many problems. But due to this, this code, we do immediately. Please, next, please. Yes, uh, Professor Sumitan asked me three questions. Yeah, he asked me, yeah, well, he would like to share the, the, the green revolution in India with the three poles, three, uh, three pillars. Number one, human resource. Number two is infrastructure. And number three is uh, policy and legislation. And he asked me, this the, you have only one choice. And then uh, I said that uh, we, 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 we choose 
human resource first. And then after that, uh, for infrastructure and uh, policy le legislation, we, we deal with uh, later. With, if we have the enough the scientific manpower, we can do. Yeah. Next, please. Uh, this the the list of our ITEC alumni. Uh, they became they now they became the government leaders on agriculture. Uh, they received the PhD and master in India, and. Uh, only for 10 years, we have uh, 40 PhD and 100 uh, master. And in, uh, uh, we, uh, in particular, Dr. Bui Babong, he is uh, the uh, alumnus of IRI to get the, the, the distinction when, uh, in PhD de degree under the supervisor by Dr. Swaminathan. And uh, he became the deputy director, sorry, the deputy minister of our country. And he also the team leader of uh, so-called our our goal, our golden uh, generation in in the country for how to how to uh, wake up the, our our culture. Next, please. Okay, the, this the the main Indian institution receives our scholar more than more than twenty, but uh, only some very, the key institution. I, myself, I am working in uh, National Virus Research Institute in Kata and uh, uh, the, the National uh, Genetics, uh, Genetic Plant Genetic Resource in New Delhi. Next, please. So the, for the wild rice germplasm conservation, we have to, uh, Understand the the health the, the the effort by my my teacher my my teacher this uh, Dr. Edith Sharma, and after that uh, Dr. Pra for a long time to to work with uh, Dr. Pra, and for rice breeding a lot of uh, scientists we remember like um, first the Dr. Sitaraman his very own now in Tamil Nadu, and Dr. Vimani in hybrid rice and uh, Dr. Thakur in in in, in uh, Bihar for deep rice. And uh, 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 some somebody like this. Next, please. Um, after 30 years, you know, after 30 years, the infrastructure of uh, our rye research is to just uh, finish. Then, with the landscape like this in 2004. Next, please. 2000, uh, Samitan came again to commemorate the 20 years of uh, India-Vietnam cooperation on our country science. And after that, uh, he never come again because uh, his age very now 96 years old now. Uh, he's still living in Madras. Next, please. So I can tell you the story of Vietnam rise and green revolution in Vietnam. In Vietnam, the, the, we have, uh, we also, the, the, the center of rice civilization in Asia uh, 6,000 years ago. And the century 17, se the century 17 is the peak of uh, our agriculture, our rice. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, um, next please. In the French time, 2025, they established the uh, is, uh, National Institute, no, they did the uh, Indochina Institute uh, of Architecture Science in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, today, this is the, the IIS Institute of Architecture Science for Southern Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, uh, we, next please, next please. Yeah. We, uh, we uh, follow, the, follow up the, the Green Revolution from Erie. Uh, we used, uh, we also the first, uh, first institution to uh, apply the IR8 and IR5. And that, that woman, Tom Hakru, he's journalist, journalist, American journalist, go there uh, to, and, and the, 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 the man who's side, beside him is the guerrilla, VC guerrilla. He planned to kill him. But he said that because this man, he bring the, the medical variety to, our, to have our farmer. And then uh, after that, after 20 years, they, meet together like this, they call it Honda rice because the, the people, they get more productivity and to buy the Honda, Honda's mean motorbike. Next, please. 
in our history, you know, we be became the first rice exporter in the world in the century, early, early, early century, the 20. But unfortunately, we died. Two million people due to hunger, due to starvation in 1945, due to French colonization and the Japanese uh, uh, aggression. This is the, the, the bad thing in our history. And we, we try how to do, how to deal with this one. Next slide, please. You look, uh, we, uh, in, in 1968, due to the war, Vietnam stopped the uh, exporter. We, Vietnam be, became importer, rice importer. And uh, after the, the renovation, uh, we got the uh, since 1985. We increased our rice production very fast, very, very fast. And then uh, if we compare uh, to 1999, uh, next slide, please. 19, uh, up to now, our rice production doubled from 17 million up to 42 million ton and became the, the second rice exporter in the world after India. And now we pass by Thailand now. Next, please. The problem is the climate change. Now, we, it, it is the, 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 the picture in two, uh, 2016. 2016, we faced the problem, the sink, sinking, so sinking one centimeter per year. The problem is uh, soil uh, erosion due to uh, the, the big flow. And then number, and the, the most difficult, the most, uh, the, the, the most severe problem is the, the salinity intrusion, salinity. Next, please. Okay, this is a very good example of the, for the cooperation between Vietnam and India. For 10 years, since 1980 to 2000, we collected the Y symbol and due to the, the support by my teacher, Dr. Sharma and Dr. Pra, we identified the, 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 the accession to use the, the genetic material. And sec second, second phase from 2000 to and 2010, uh, we 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 uh, we do use the back crossing continuously to release the so-called uh, one variety AS 996 uh, AS 996 also we call it derivative derivative they, they use the gene from white white but the new plant type of IR64 and the the late now, up to now, we, uh, we use the material for AAS-996 uh, to become the genetic material for our rice splitting for B deficiency tolerance. Next slide, please. For salinity, for submergent tolerance, for heat tolerance. And recently, we, we developed the variety with the low GI, below. GI has been glycemic index. This index low is very adapted for the, the patient who receives uh, diabetes. Next, please. Okay, today rice breeding still consider uh, the, the heart of uh, our crop improvement, not only for, for rice. And due to the, the new uh, the, the new approach, the new approaches from molecular genetics, we uh, can uh, deal with our function. But we need the, the cooperation. Any of your, your kind cooperation would be appreciated. Next, please. Uh, for, for the farmer also now you're doing the ecological uh, engineering in uh, Mekong Delta to prevent from the, the, the residue by the chemical due to the overuse and, and, and you know, uh, to, to misuse of a chemical. Next, please. Okay, now the, the figure of rice production in Vietnam in 2021. Today, our people, about uh, 98 million people, with, we, 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 we reach uh, 100 million, okay. And then, but the uh, rice production now uh, about 40, 52 million ton. And uh, the average yield very high, the highest in the Southeast Asia and ASEAN, Vietnam obtained the highest yield, uh, six ton, more than six ton per hectare. 
And um, last year also, we the the, the turnover uh, export turnover value about forty eight billion US dollar for rise of more than three billion US dollar. This is uh, due to uh, our effort. And then our friend in the world they said that this is the, the shining of our country in Vietnam. But we, we have to explain how do we do like this. Next, please. This is a lesson. It's very important. This is very simple uh, to be happy, but it's very difficult to be simple. And then we have to understand that what we we happy today. We have to remember uh, yesterday. We are in the the war time. We we very poor, and we have very good friend from many country, particularly in India. We we remember our uh, respectable teacher. Next, and looking to the future is risky due to the climate change energy crisis and the market also the market also a very big challenge the coexistence of human being and uh, natural ecosystem should be mentioned next next please and we uh, we continue our capacity building and the international cooperation next please okay uh, in memory of many, in honor of all. Thank you very much. I have to remember our, our paper, our uh, woman uh, of India and the uh, Indian people. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, uh, I am so grateful to the ch chairman and uh, for his, uh, uh, you know, very good remarks about me. Uh, all that uh, I had a wonderful opportunity in the ICAR. I could get uh, three terms of DDG. So, you know, I could work uh, as much as I can. I am very much thankful and uh, my respect to all dignitaries on, on the dais, those who are among the organizers, uh, very, very hard working, and all of you, I, I especially welcome on, on my, my behalf. I, I will be trying to talk uh, on uh, the, uh, you know, specifically the role of extension in the country. Koi ham log farmers, friends hain, to mein Hindi mein itna acha nahi hoon, but thoda thoda mein baat karenge. Aisa time tha, jab ham log America se gehu import karte the. Wo gehu third graded wheat tha. And jo gehu ham log ka khane ke liye milta tha, wo Russia purchase karte the pig ko khilane ke liye, suor ko khilane ke liye. Under PL 480, main uh, third year student of agriculture the, wohi khana ham log ko milta tha. Mera ye khana hai, as a condition tha, and we are now producing gehu more than the United States. And ab log sab ka sab jante hain that uh, almost 12 million tons of gehu for the last four years, uh, I mean four months, uh, four months mein ham log export kiya. And uh, in fact, our, our honorable PM uh, told that India can feed the world. It is true. I mean, I will also show that uh, not gehu uh, alone, rice, uh, milk, meat, 
uh, I mean, jo, uh, vegetable, fruits, uh, sub cheese may last uh, 75 years, you know, especially in 1960s, say, kitna improvement hua hai, and India ka technology kaha se kaha gaya hai, scientists look, uh, up, uh, in, you know, the hamara jo friend Vietnam se aaye hai, he told that how making delta uh, improve kiya hai, hamara Indo-Gangetic delta, jo hai, Kaveri delta, Godavari delta, sab jagah mein aap example dekhenge, uh, 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 you know, uh, rice, uh, wheat separately, rice, wheat system separately, aaj India ka food basket. Hi, my, without taking any time, I will go to the slide. Uh, especially, uh, I can say in the beginning that uh, with my experience of 22 countries, I uh, honestly, not being an Indian, but truly speaking, jitna uh, effort hamara desh mein last 75 years mein hua hai, and jiska result 50 million tons of food grain se aaj 312 million tons, more than six times, six and a half, half times. Population hamara 30 crore tha, aaj 134 crore, char guna population hua hai, char guna hamara utpadan jo bada hai, especially in serial, to usme jaise research ka contribution hai, as a extension ka contribution, I will mostly confine on extension so that you can have a look at, at that, that what a country can do from, uh, you know, from subsistence farming to, to a, uh, you know, to the level where it can boost off feeding the world. So my, uh, n uh, the topic, uh, next slide please. The topic I will be speaking, uh, a kind of timeline analysis of the evolution of extension network capacity building and the, how the benefits of farmers in India. Uh, next, please. Actually, uh, you know, tremendous effort has been done. I, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, I mean, usually we talk about the capacity uh, building. I mean, wh where we can continue to have sustainable agricultural growth for improving the uh, lives of uh, st stakeholders. And, and one thing of uh, kindly dekhi that uh, agriculture, hamara desh ka agriculture, agar describe kare to uh, 14 crore hectare hamara land hai. My figure dikhayenge, 14 crore hectare land, almost 10 crore farmers, uh, I mean farm families, usko cultivate karte hai, more than 740 uh, rural district hai, and 6.25 lakhs villages. Now, yahan se baidabad karke 134 crore uh, lo log ko khana uh, me milta hai and hamesa jo animal population, half of the human population, so approximately 500 crore jo animal, they also get the feed from this 140, 40, uh, I mean 14 crore or 140. 40 million hectare of, of, of land. So, you know, uh, think it over that, that what kind of, 
efforts were made and series of attempts were made for improve the, uh, improving the capacity building. Few of those efforts were started in the pre-independence uh, era, but uh, mostly entire efforts were, uh, was after the independence was done. Next slide, please. Uh, uh, even independence cup Pali series of uh, discussion was was done. Bengal famine subse pehle jo you know a, a, a landmark uh, famine tha. I mean of this century, and uh, the then government you know constitutive committee. I mean a commission, royal commission of agriculture in 1928, we, we appointed National Commission on Agriculture in 1970. All those uh, commissions, one point, they all spoke that there must be, uh, there, there must be enough opportunity for application of science and technology for the improvement of agriculture in, a, in our country. You will find that again 30 years after, we had the National Commission from Farmers, a constitution 2004, Jisko commonly Swaminathan Commission, but uh, I mean, this was a very, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, important uh, recommendation. Finally, we are now talking uh, uh, from October 2006 that, that how the farmer's income can be, can be improved to double. Doubling the farmer's in income is the key um, area now. now. And, and this, uh, and the uh, committee for the doubling the farmers in income, you, know, you will all know 12 volumes of publication and three important points that we must increase our productivity further, we must reduce the cost of cultivation and farmers should, should get a remunerative uh, price. These are the three key areas um, we were uh, uh, working about the, uh, uh, as I told that we have got, uh, I mean, I have told all those fig figures earlier that we have got about 90 million farmers household increased by 20 million. In terms of crore, we had, uh, we had, uh, uh, you know, uh, s seven crore uh, farming household, I mean, which is now nine crore, and, uh, you know, 114 crore. But the important part is that such a gigantic, size of population, food we have. In fact, our buffer stock, I have not seen any country where more than 50 million tons of food grain are in the buffer stock. And next, uh, please, I will uh, very briefly explain in some of the efforts in pre-independence uh, time, one is that uh, rural reconstruction in Sundarman area of West Bengal. Uh, uh, you all know that Daniel Hamilton, who, who started that Gurgaon project as a Haryana uh, Mr. Brian, Sriniketan experiment by Tegot, Sevagram experiment in Wadda, by Mahatma Gandhi, Martindam project at Kerala, 
by Spencer Hatch, Baroder Program, BT Kitchen Matari, Grow More Food Campaign, Agriculture De Development, State Government, India's Village Service, Dr. Wizard, and Firka Vikas Program in Madras by the government of Madras. Next slide, please. Immediately after uh, the, uh, the independence, uh, one of the largest program ever taken up by any countries of the world, and that was called Community De Development Program. And that Community Development Program is the uh, uh, you know, scaling up of two, three experiment. One, one Nilokeri experiment, another Etawa pilot project. In fact, it is the Etawa of UP, the pilot project, which is the kind of precursor of conceiving the community de development program. And by 1952, we had 55 community development program, and within one year, we had one of the largest organizational structure was put in the country called National Extension Service. And next slide, please. Series of, series of innovative program, uh, you know, technology-led, as I, as I said that all the commission, one thing was common that there must be vigorous effort for uh, application of science and te technology. You will find that first attempt was made in 1952 called Key Village Scheme, was a novel attempt for the development of cattle and, and buffaloes then IADP, Intensive Agricultural District Program. It was thought that quickly, if we want to increase our production quickly, instead of spreading the resources, can we identify some of the, uh, uh, you know, best resource pool area and concentrate our effort? So that was started uh, IADP. And we got tremendous success from approximately 15 districts, increased to somewhere near 20, and then started IAAP, Intensive Agricultural Area Program. Once in crop production, we got success. Then we tried to look after the animal improvement, and we started uh, ICDP, Intensive Cattle De Development Program. In order to have the large-scale capacity building of the farmers and cattle owners on the country, Government of India established Farmers Training and Education Program uh, way back in 1966-67. Next slide, please. The Key to success of uh, livestock development program is the operational flood program, one of the largest ever. We are first in milk production in, in, in the world. Uh, so, you know, from a level of nowhere to the kind of achievement was made that was because of the operational flood program in 1970. And uh, the whole was superimposed with training and visit program, what is, you know, popularly called TNV. And then what our, our honorable chairman uh, just now told, first Krishi Vigyan Kendra was established in 1974 in uh, Pandicherry and uh, which, which is now called Puducherry, and uh, 700, more than 700 KVKs are, are there in the country. Then, then 
of course, we intensified our application of science and technology, uh, you know, technology on, on mission on wild seed and, and, and then uh, national agricultural te technology pro project. Next, please. And then uh, technology, uh, national agricultural technology project. Then ICR uh, implemented, uh, in, you know, the institution and village linkage program. For the first time, scientists that themselves work with the farmers, not leaving it to the village level extension worker or the extension uh, functionaries. And uh, then in 2000, Agricultural Technology Information Center as a single window support system for the availability of technology product, technology services, and technology information. And uh, ultimately, during 2014 and 15, we s started national mission on agricultural extension and technology with three submissions, one in agricultural extension, another seeds and planting material, and the other on agricultural mechanization. With the overall effect, uh, kindly have a look. Next, please. Uh, the overall effect is that, um, next slide, please. Uh, overall effect is that, kindly see that uh, we had uh, uh, annu uh, annual availability of, of uh, uh, in 1951, we, we were having uh, 58 kilo of grain per capita. By 2020, we are having 73 uh, yeah, okay. And, and, and the same thing for, for wheat, for other cereals, pulses, and overall food grains availability increased from 144 gram, uh, 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 kilo to 187. Uh, if you have a look at the you know, stock of food grains, as I told, I will not read through the slide that uh, we started our buffer stock from 19 million tons in 1991. In 2020, we, we are having 56 million tons. I visited 22 countries. It is dream. It is just dream for any country to, to have you know, so much of buffer stock and so mu much of, uh, you know, uh, for f food security. We are dependent on us for food, not on anybody else. Uh, and, and one of the innovative approach by the government of India is the support for, you know, minimum support price and which has, boosted the production of uh, in, in order to rise, rise and wheat. Next slide, please. Tremendous effort was uh, made for the availability of quality seed, you know, both in the form of breeded seed, in, in the form of foundation seed, and in the form of certified, certified seed and simultaneously the availability of uh, fertilizer. If you have a look at the all world figure, you will find that we are not using the kind of uh, fertilizer many, many other countries are, are uh, using. I will admire that our uh, farmer, their skill, their knowledge, Unka jo hard work, unka jo devotion to their 
farming that has given a big dividend for the improvement of pro productivity. Uh, I will uh, skip a few, as I told that in 1950, uh, um, uh, I mean we had uh, 22 million hectares we had area un under ir irrigation, gross irrigated area, and we are now having 98 million hectares. And uh, simultaneously, uh, tractors, power tiller, support was, was, was given, and uh, uh, I think the slide ha has been repeated. Um, yeah, we are now net uh, exporter uh, of, of the uh, food grain, and so much so that agricultural, uh, while the agricultural imports latest figure of 2019 to 2020, 4.39%, uh, our export has gone to 11.4% of total export. So agriculture uh, it is, is a very important area for bringing the, uh, you know, the valuable uh, valuable foreign exchange reserve, and now we we are talking approximately six hundred billion dollars. Our foreign exchange reserve, which is the fourth largest reserve for any other any other country, we have supported with micro irrigation, both drip sprinkler and uh, insurance you have been uh, you have been hearing that different kinds of attempt has been taken to protect the fa farmers from uh, by uh, insurance separately uh, last uh, i will say that now india's position in the world we are in total cereal production in the in the world, uh, our share is 11 percent, and uh, we are third in the rank out of 192 countries who are the member of UNO. In wheat, as I told that we used to import third graded wheat from United States, our percentage of share of production, uh, almost 14 percent, and we are second largest producer of wheat. We, we are uh, you know, one-fifth of the world paddy rice is produced by uh, our country. Uh, we are first in total uh, pulse production, and Germans, uh, Germans are himself, he, he's here, uh, you know, what kind of tremendous contribution has been made by, by his team and uh, IIPR uh, Institute. We, in wild seed, we are almost one-fifth of the world, and rape seed almost another, another 10. In milk, we are the first in production, we produce approximately 6% uh, of total egg and 2% of fruits and vegetable. We are second rank and in vegetable uh, first rank. I, I must thank you for uh, your patient hearing. And today, world is looking for uh, us and the what kind of model, what kind of technology, particularly we are a live model for the small and marginal farmers and what is globally called, called the, uh, you know, uh, uh, small, uh, small holder of, of, of farmers and approximately 500 million 500 million small holder uh, uh, f farmers in the world, 
and with our, our uh, 19 million uh, small holding families are the example for all 500 uh, million farming household that how we a country uh, from uh, you know uh, begging bowel actually those days in 1960s anybody from our country visiting abroad they used to think uh, that that India is coming for getting some food and the what kind of food security can be brought over a period of 75 years with those small f farmers, India is one of the, uh, not one of the, the brightest uh, example. Many, many thanks for your kind listening uh, uh, here. Thank you. Professor. Uh, thank you for your introduction. And Bharatiya Kisan Sangh, Bharatiya Agro Economic Research Center, Indian Council of Agriculture Research का भारी हूँ कि उन्होंने मुझे यहाँ पे बुलाया और अपने आपके साथ कुछ मेरे 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 ख्यालों का सुनने के लिए चांस दिया। वैसे मुझे हिंदी में बात किए 25 और 30 साल हो गए हैं, तो मैं try करूँगा इस main message हिंदी में दूँगा हर एक slide का, लेकिन जब ज़्यादा detail में जाना हो तो मैं अंग्रेजी में करूँगा, उसके लिए मैं Hindi में लिख के आ जाता ताकि मैं आपके साथ बात करूं लेकिन प्लीज उसके लिए माफी चाहता हूं सो सबसे सबसे पहले दिनेश कुलकर्णी जी का धन्यवाद और मकरंद कार्यकर जी का अरुण पांडे जी का और एसके दुबे जी को जिन्होंने मुझे यहां पे बुलाया आपके साथ बात करने के लिए और मुझे मुझे खुशी हुई कि यहां पे आने के बाद मुझे साईरेड्डी जी से मुलाकात हुई मैंने उन्हें बहुत पहले पहले सुना था लेकिन 15 साल के बाद फिर से मिल रहा हूं और चतुर्वेदी जी फॉर फॉर बीइंग चेयर एंड डॉक्टर एके सिंह एंड अशोक कुमार जी फॉर द रैपेटर सो मुझे लगता है मुझे 15 मिनट दिया गया था सो मैं 15 मिनट में कंप्लीट करूंगा मैं वहां वो देख रहा हूं सो सो दिस विल बी माय 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 टाइटल प्रेजेंटेशन आउटलाइन फर्स्ट आई विल टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट करंट स्टेटस हंगर क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड व्हाट इज द ग्रैंड चैलेंज फॉर ऑल द एग्रीकल्चरल स्कॉलर्स इन इंडिया and then what is the, uh, what are the opportunities matlab hamare paas kaun se kaise opportunities hain ki hum in grand challenges ka answer kar sake aur baad mein indian or indian origin scholars ke contribution ke bare mein bataunga especially as related to food and nutritional security aur uske baad mein uh, human and institutional change ki kya zarurat hai kis jagah hame change karne ki zarurat hai uske bare mein bataunga uske baad need for systems approach matlab kaun se aise platform hai जहाँ हम एग्री फूड सिस्टम्स को फुल्ली सिस्टम्स की तरह ट्रीट करें और उस ताकि हम फूड और न्यूट्रिशनल सिक्योरिटी और क्लाइमेट सिक्योरिटी का एड्रेस करें उसके बाद मैं थोड़े अपने विचारों का समराइज करूँगा तो सबसे पहले फूड सिक्योरिटी माल न्यूट्रिशन और मील गेन के बारे में ये जो मैप है जो ग्लोबल ग्लोबल हंगर मैप है जिसमें फूड इनसेक्योरिटी के बताया गया है एट मिलियन पीपल मिलियन लोग आज वो भूखे भूखे हैं 820 million people around the world are food insecure. And many, many of those are in Africa and Asia region. Uh, South, South Asia may 15% of population are undernourished as well. Next slide, please. Yes, stunting math. I mean, if you have 5 years old, how stunted and their growth is less. So if you look at this, 30% of children who are under 5 years old in Africa and South Asia are undernourished. और ग्लोबली इसका ये बनता है 21.3 परसेंट वो हो गए 144 मिलियन चिल्ड्रन व्हिच इज अनएक्सेप्टेबल नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज एंड ये है कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ यील मतलब हमने हम हमें हमें जो वीट राइस और मेइज और सोयाबीन में कितना लैंड एक रिश था और उनमें कितनी उत्पत्ति बढ़ी ये दो ऊपर के स्लाइड हैं तो आप देखें तो हार्वेस्टेड एरिया ज़्यादा बड़ा नहीं है वीट और वीट में और लेकिन राइस और मेज़ और सोइम में थोड़ा बड़ा है लेकिन अगर एनुअल यील गेन देखें जो आपके राइट साइड की ग्राफ है काफ़ी काफ़ी इंक्रीज हुआ है मेज़ में 66 किलोग्राम्स पर ईयर हेक्टेयर एंड देन राइस में 50 वीट में 40 और सोयाबीन में 27 किलोग्राम्स सो काफी काफी इंक्रीज हुआ है यील 1960 से लेकर 19 1960 से लेकर 2020 तक 
लेकिन आप नीचे के ग्राफ देखें जो रिलेटिव यील्ड गेन मतलब एक साल से अगले साल तक कैसे कितनी प्रतिशत यील्ड जा रहा है उसमें काफ़ी डिक्रीज हुआ है पहले वो सिक्सटीज में तीन तीन प्रतिशत था अभी वो कम कर एक एक पॉइंट एक और एक पॉइंट वन पॉइंट फाइव तक है सो अगर हमको अगर हमको पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीज बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन को अगर खाना खिलाना है तो हमको इस 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 रेट ऑफ यील्ड को बढ़ाना पड़ेगा चाहे वो सीरियल्स हो चाहे लेग्यूम्स हो चाहे वो ऑयल सीड्स हो नेक्स्ट लाइक प्लीज सो वो वो थे चैलेंजेस ना व्हाट आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ मतलब ग्रैंड चैलेंज क्या है इन सब को रखते हुए सो ग्रैंड चैलेंज ये है कि प्रोवाइड एक्सेस टू सफिशेंट सेफ एंड न्यूट्रिशियस फूड टू मीट द डाइटरी नीड्स ऑफ पीपल फॉर अ हेल्थी लाइफ एट ऑल टाइम्स सो दैट्स अ ग्रैंड चैलेंज सो ये ग्रैंड क्यों है क्योंकि बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी नाइन बिलियन से ज़्यादा पीपल होंगे और हमें सिक्सटी परसेंट बढ़ाना होगा एक्सेस या प्रोडक्शन दोनों कई जगह हमारे पास प्रोडक्शन तो है लेकिन एक्सेस नहीं है और ये ग्रैंड इसलिए है कि ये ये बढ़ाने हैं हमें एग्जिस्टिंग लैंड एरिया में नई लैंड को एग्रीकल्चर में नहीं ला सकते क्योंकि यह नेचुरल रिसोर्स का डिप्लीशन होगा सो दैट दैट्स वाई इट इज़ अ ग्रैंड चैलेंज बिकॉज यू हैव टू डू दिस फ्राम एग्जिस्टिंग फार्म लैंड एंड देन अंडर द थ्रेट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज क्लाइमेट चेंज जो देख रहे हैं इस साल जो जो जितनी उष्णोग्रता बढ़ी है वो या यूरोप में हो या यहाँ इंडिया में हो या फिर अमेरिका में हो काफ़ी उष्णोग्रता बढ़ी हुई है 1.2 डिग्री सेल्सियस वार्मर देन व्हाट इट वाज इन ट्वेंटी लास्ट सेंचुरी दैट सिग्निफिकेंट एंड देन सो जो भी हम करेंगे वो एक इन्वायरमेंटली सस्टेनेबल होना चाहिए इकोनॉमिकली वाइबल होना चाहिए सोशली एक्सेप्टेबल होना चाहिए और सबके लिए इक्विटेबल भी होना चाहिए सो दैट्स अ बिगेस्ट बिगेस्ट चैलेंज और इसमें इंस्टीट्यूशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स और सोशल कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग की अत्यंत जरूरी है सो so, वो थे चैलेंजेस सो so, अब क्या अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ हैं दो चीज़ें बताऊंगा मैं यहाँ एक तो ईल गैप मतलब कितना डिफरेंस है जो पोटेंशियल ईल है या फिर अटेनेबल ईल है जो हम और हमें है और दूसरा होगा फूड हारवेस्ट फूड लॉस एंड फूड वेस्ट ये जो मैप है ये है ये ये जो रंग बता दिखा रहे हैं सो ये डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अटेनेबल यील्ड एंड द एक्चुअल यील्ड विच इज़ द यील्ड गैप मतलब कोई कृषक किसी जगह पर अपने अपने बायोफिजिकल और सोशो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन के रहते हुए वो कितना यील्ड बना सकता है और अभी कितना आ रहा है उसका डिफरेंस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज यील्ड गैप तो अगर आप देखें तो हमें हम लोग आज 30 परसेंट इज ओनली अचीव यूर अचीविंग ओनली थर्टी परसेंट सत्तर प्रतिशत बाकी है मतलब 70 प्रतिशत और यील्ड इंक्रीज किया जाता है किया जा सकता है वो अटेनेबल यील्ड की बात कर रहा हूँ मैं जेनेटिक पोटेंशियल की नहीं बात कर रहा हूँ मैं सो इट इज़ पॉसिबल और ये दूसरा जो ये नंबर्स देख रहे हैं आप चाहे चालीस तीस बीस ये है फूड लॉस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाइफ प्लीज ये है फूड लॉस या फूड वेस्ट मतलब ये दोनों डेवलप्ड और डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज में इक्वली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया हुआ है थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ तीस और तीस प्रतिशत जो हम लोग उगा रहे हैं या तो वेस्ट कर रहे हैं या तो लॉस हो रहा है या वो डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज में हो या वो डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज में हो डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज में वो हो रहा है जब आप हारवेस्ट करते हैं या बिफोर हारवेस्ट और जो डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज में हो रहा है वो आफ्टर हार्वेस्ट या प्रोसेसिंग हो या पैकेजिंग हो या आपके डिनर टेबल में जितना वेस्ट करते हैं आप सो so दोनों दोनों देश डेवलपिंग और डेवलप डेवलप इकोनॉमी सर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू थर्टी परसेंट सो उसका वैल्यू है 1.3 बिलियन टन्स विथ 1 ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स ऑन एनुअल बेसिस आप ये सोचिए कितना वेस्ट हो रहा है जो मैंने बताया था आपको 60 परसेंट यील्ड इंक्रीज करना है 30 परसेंट यहीं पे अगर आप इसको कम कर सकें और इसका जो ग्रीन हाउस ग्रीन हाउस गैस फुटप्रिंट है वो 8 टू 11 परसेंट है सो इमेजिन हाउ मच हाउ मच सेविंग्स ऑफ ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन और हाउ मच एनवायरमेंटली सस्टेनेबल वी कैन मीज मेड दिस प्रोड्यूस सो अगला होगा कि वट आर द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंडियन साइंटिस्ट एंड इंडियन स्कॉलर्स फॉर द ग्लोबल फूड सिक्योरिटी सो अब अब मैं अगले दो तीन स्लाइड में आप इंडियन इंडिया के कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन के बारे में बात करूँगा तो सबसे पहले हो गया वर्ल्ड फूड प्राइज विनर्स सो ये है इंडिया इंडिया और इंडियन औरिजिन के स्कॉलर्स जिनको वर्ल्ड फूड प्राइज दिया गया था यहाँ पे एक आठ लोग हैं स्टार्टिंग विद एम एस स्वामीनाथन नाइनटीन एटी सेवन में बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन then burgis korean for its white revolution of the milk revolution then gurudev khush for the rice rice research from rice breeding and then uh, dr bharewala for high quality commercial seed production then sundar uh, surinder vasil for high high protein maize and then uh, vijay gupta for low cost fish farming 
and then Sanjay Rajaram for disease-resistant wheat, and more recently, Professor Ratanlal for soil-centric sustainability. I know that Professor Ratanlal Ji has this conference ke inaugural kiya tha. so hopefully he gave wonderful presentations. So these are the contributions of people who have helped with global food and nutritional security. In, in sab ke liye ek bar zordar taaliyan, please. So what are the human or institutional resources? Can now we'll talk about technological and social innovations. When the Kasi technology India ne dusre deshon ke liye di hai. So sabse pehle genetic resources or plant resources. Neem, aap sab log jante hai, neem, neem plant, wo jo India mein origin hua aur in the Upanishad mein 350 years ago likha gaya tha ki neem ka kya contribution hai. Aur dusra ho gaya turmeric, curcuma longa, isme चार हजार साल पहले वैदिक कल्चर में इसका 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 नाम किया गया था और कॉटन प्रोडक्शन 300 बीसी फर्स्ट कॉटन वाज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इंडिया एंड देन लेटर ऑन इट स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड सो दो तो हो गए पुराने जो जेनेटिक और प्लांट रिसोर्सेस है और अब अगर अगर आप सिंथेटिक जीन्स और डिकोडिंग का देखें तो हरगोब हरगोबन सिंह खुराना क्रिएटेड द फर्स्ट सिंथेटिक जीन डीएनए का कोड किया था उनके लिए उनको नोबेल प्राइज फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन में दिया गया था और उन्होंने ये 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 प्राइज दूसरे और साइंटिस्ट के साथ शेयर किया था सो दैट वाज अ सिग्निफिकेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन व्हिच हैज रेवोल्यूशनलाइज द प्रोडक्टिविटी ग्रेन्स ऑफ ऑल द मेजर क्रॉप्स और अगर आप रिसेंट में देखें तो जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग जो क्रॉप्स का किया गया था इंडिया और इंडियन स्कॉलर्स ने लीड लिया था पीजन पी चिक पी वीट और एंसेस्टर ऑफ ग्राउंड नट सो दीज वर द फाइव फाइव डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स वेयर व्हिच वर सीक्वेंस इन इंडियन 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 इंस्टीट्यूशंस विद एन इंडियन स्कॉलर्स कंट्रीब्यूशन और नैनो यूरिया जो इफको ने रिसेंटली डेवलप किया है वो भी काफ़ी टेक्नोलॉजी से मुझे टाइम के टाइम टाइम कम है इसीलिए मैं आपको जस्ट दो तीन हाईलाइट दे रहा हूँ और अगर आप देखें तो कंट्रीब्यूशंस ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर एंड सोशल कैपिटल और एक्सटेंशन जो अभी 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 डॉक्टर दास जी ने बताया था तो कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र इज अ ग्रेटेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ हाउ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर हैज बीन सक्सेसफुल एंड हाउ वी हैव बीन ट्रांसफरिंग द नॉलेज टू द फार्मर्स एंड फार्मर्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड अराउंड द कंट्री सो ये जो ये जो ये जो सिस्टम है इट कैन बी ईजली ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया और एशिया और और अफ्रीकन नेशंस जहाँ इसकी सख्त जरूरत है तो उसके बाद अगर आपको और काफ़ी अदर प्रोग्राम्स हैं जो फार्मर और फार्मर वेलफेयर के लिए चल रही हैं ये भी दूसरे कंट्रीज आसानी से इनका उपयोग कर सकते हैं उनमें है किसान सम्मान निधि योजना हो या फिर एग्री एग्री बिजनेस सेंटर फॉर एग्री क्लिनिक्स जो एग्रीकल्चर ग्रेजुएट्स के लिए बनाया गया है और प्रोफेशनल सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं फार्मर्स के लिए और फसल बीमा योजना जो इंश्योरेंस करती है क्रॉप्स और लाइफ स्टॉक सिस्टम्स का और काफ़ी अदर इनिशिएटिव्स लाइक सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड या परंपरागत कृषि विकास योजना कृषि सिंचाई योजना नेशनल एग्रीकल्चर मार्केट ड्रोन यूज़ इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन प्रोग्राम्स स्कूल में और काफ़ी काफ़ी और ये जो है ये सोशल और का सोशल कैपिटल और सोशल इनोवेशन के है और यहाँ से ये सब भारत में शुरू हुई हैं यहाँ ये ये काफ़ी अदर एशिया और अफ्रीकन कंट्रीज़ के लिए काफ़ी लाभदायक हो सकती है अगर आप इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर को देखें ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन की तो बात कही गई थी सवेरे लेकिन ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन के बाद भी काफ़ी इंक्रीज़ हुआ है सो अगर आप अगले पिछले पाँच और पाँच या छः साल देखें तो सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन फूड ग्रेन प्रोडक्शन टुडे वी आर एट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन मिलियन मिलियन टनस ऑफ फूड विच इज़ विच इज़ विच इज़ टाइगरिंग एंड एंड दैट्स नॉट ओनली फॉर द ओवरऑल ग्रेन्स बट ऑल्सो वीट प्रोडक्शन विद ऑल दो इट्स स्लाइटली इंक्रीज लास्ट ईयर बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सट्रीम हीट इवेंट्स और पैडी पैडी राइस इज ऑल्सो सिग्निफिकेंटली इंक्रीज सो दिस इज इसका क्रेडिट जाता है किसानों को किसानों को और किसान ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को और कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र को और इनोवेशन विच इज़ डन बाई इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च और यूनिवर्सिटीज़ सो उन सब के लिए एक और बार जोरदार तालियाँ थैंक यू सो अभी मैं नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स में क्लोज करूँगा सो अभी बता दें कि अभी वो तो हुई बात पहले की अगर अभी क्या चल रहा है ह्यूमन एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग में सो मैं आपको एक प्रोग्राम के बारे में बताना चाहूँगा वो है नेशनल एग्रीकल्चर हायर एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट जो जो इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च और वर्ल्ड बैंक के फंडिंग के द्वारा किया गया था उसमें आई थिंक इट वॉज इक्वल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सिक्सटी मिलियन डॉलर्स फ्राम आई सी आर एंड सिक्सटी मिलियन डॉलर्स फ्राम इन वर्ल्ड बैंक सो द मेन पर्पज वॉज टू एनहस द ह्यूमन एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैपेसिटी ऑफ द स्टेट एग्रीकल्चरल यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड इन 
all organizations of Indian Council of Agriculture Research. And in that, there were undergraduate programs, graduate programs, faculty, research facilities, and infrastructure ki, uh, opportunities were there. So uh, that was an extremely successful program, if, as far as I can say. And then Kansas State University or our university ne, uh, kafi, kafi universities ko support kiya tha, lekin sabse bada tha Acharya Anjiranga Agriculture University, jahan se 60 students, undergraduate students ko hum log Kansas State University or Oklahoma State University leke gaye the. Uh, uh, 60, 60 dino ke liye, 2 mahino mein unka exposure vahan ke agriculture research or extension program ke saath hua. So that was wonderful opportunity. Aisa maka undergraduate students ko kabhi diya nahi gaya tha. So this was a fantastic program. And this year, in 2020, we hosted Kashmir Agriculture University undergraduate students. So, they presented the students and said, Kashmir to Kansas. So, that is a fantastic thing. And then these were all the students which are undergraduate and are from the very poorest of the poorest of the rural regions. So, they, it's a life-changing experience for them. And when they come back, they'll be integrated into our systems, and they'll be contributing, and they'll be our future leaders. So, this is a fantastic program. So, now, uh, Minute, I'm going to summarize. So next, this is the first thing. What are the institutional changes? Ki hai? Next, next slide, please. So uh, human or institutional, or how to research? Karna hai? So I will tell you about this program, ke mein batahunga, Association of Public Land Grant University, which is the US, or Canada, or Mexico ke Agriculture University ke consortium, in which 236 organizations involved. Hai. So they have a research uh, uh, ek, uh, activity. They have to tell you क्या चेंजेस की जरूरत है सो so, इसका समरी यह है uh, मैं इसका इसका साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर था थोड़ा पार्ट करने का मुझे चांस मिला था सो so, इसमें इसमें की चैलेंजेस क्या और कैसी चीजों की जरूरत है सो so, इनमें यह बताया गया था कि फूड के अलावा न्यूट्रिशन सिक्योरिटी की बहुत जरूरत है दैट्स नंबर 1 एंड देन नंबर 2 है कि ट्रांसडिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च हम लोग जो रिसर्च करते हैं वी आर इन साइलोस है ग्रानमी फिजियोलॉजी ब्रीडिंग सो इन इनकी इन, इन दीवारों की ब्रेक करनी है सो so, हमें ऐसा सिस्टम्स अप्रोच बनाना है जहां फोकस शुड बी बियॉन्ड ईल्ड न्यूट्रिशन और हेल्थ एंड देन इट शुड बी अ फूड सिस्टम्स पूरा सिस्टम का यूज करना है एक कंपोनेंट का नहीं और देन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज के कैपेसिटी uh, बढ़ानी है or technology or information, big data ke leverage karna hai. So this map have three concepts that I introduce karanga and then I'll conclude. So the first concept is sustainable agricultural intensification. Kyunki hame not, because we have to produce food but in the existing farmland without damaging environment. Food to badana hai hai, hame environment ke protect karna hai environment ko kalushit nahi karna hai. So that's a concept. This mein teen, teen cheez hai, genetic intensification jo lal mein hai, or agroecological intensification, the, the green mein hai, or socioeconomic intensification, the blue mein hai. So genetic intensification ka matlab higher yields, uh, resilient to pests and diseases, uh, nutrition, medicinal value, or is my both traditional or innovative or new genomic tools ki avishakta hai. Or agroecological intensification hogya, systems approach, farming systems, improving soil and water uh, management, integrated nutrient management, diversified systems, or integrated pest management hogya. Or the blue may have just developing new market, new markets ki jurwet hai, social capital ki jurwet hai, sustainable livelihoods ki jurwet hai. Or the barriers hai unko nikalna hai, or enabling environment, or institutional human resource building is part of it. And then mechanization, new technologies, artificial intelligence, or nanotechnology, or microbiome, or precision agriculture, or um, mechanization, or private sector engagement, or entrepreneurship, un sab ki bhi jurwet hai. Wo sare tino, 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 tino cheese mein unka. Or let's not forget gender, because women are more and more uh, uh, working in agriculture. We need, we need to take care of women. And also youth in agriculture, engagement of youth in agriculture is very, very important. And the data science and technology should be integrated. So that was concept of sustainable ag intensification. Second concept is broader One Health. Meaning that when we talk about One Health, we talk about human or animals and a little bit about the environment. But we all know that if you want uh, uh, human health or animal health, it starts with human health or soil health. Se hoti hai. Soil health will lead to plant health and then plant health will lead to animal health and animal health will lead to human health and entire uh, together will be the ecosystem health. So this is a broader One Health concept, which will bring sustain, which will bring transdisciplinary teams to work on the thematic areas. It's the manager of positives and green media, which are negative and red media, which is got time near full detail. Majanica, they can just at least do those when you have a chance to look at it. And the third concept is circular economy. Kiki, our system, a coffee waste. 
वेस्टेज हो या लो एफिशिएंसी है उनको बनाने की ज़रूरत है चाहे इनपुट में हो या प्रोडक्शन में हो या कंजम्पन में हो सो so, इसमें डिफरेंट प्रिंसिपल्स uh, या आप फाइव आर्स वाटर राइट सोर्स राइट ग्रेट राइट प्लेस राइट टाइम एंड राइट मैनर फॉर न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड वाटर उसी तरह वेस्टेज का रिड्यूस द वेस्ट री यूज रिसाइकल द वेस्ट एंड रीपर्पज द वेस्ट एंड रेजिड्यू मैनेजमेंट सो वी रियली नीड टू बी वर्किंग ऑन इंप्रूविंग द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ आर एंटायर फूड प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम्स या चाहे आप वाटर साइकिल ले लीजिए कार्बन साइकिल ले लीजिए वो वो जो प्रिंसिपल्स मैंने बताए थे वो सब अवेलेबल होंगे मैं इसमें डिटेल में नहीं जाऊँगा लेकिन अगर आपको टाइम मिले तो बाद में उनमें डिटेल में देख लीजिए और वैसे ही नाइट्रोजन साइकिल और मीथेन साइकिल में भी अपने बायो बायो सर्कुलर इकानमी काफ़ी काफ़ी अच्छी तरह उस, उसका उपयोग किया जा सकता है सो so, लास्ट में मैं अपने सस्टेनेबल इंटेंसिफिकेशन इनोवेशन लैब के बारे में दो स्लाइड ये मेरा लैब है ये सबसे बड़ा इनोवेशन लैब है यू में सेवेंटी मिलियन डॉलर्स एंड देन हम लोग हमारा प्रोग्राम अफ्रीका एशिया लैटिन अमेरिका और करेबियन में है और हम लोग दो एक सौ बीस साइंटिस्ट हैं मोर देन हंड्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एटीन यू एस यूनिवर्सिटीज सेवन सी जी आर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और मोर देन हंड्रेड पी एच डी स्कॉलर्स आर वर्किंग विद एस एंड देन लास्टली एक कमीशन इस्टेब्लिश किया गया था ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में जो जिन जिसका काम था कि वो रिकमेंड प्रायोरिटीज फॉर स्ट्रेंगनिंग एग्री फूड सिस्टम्स टू सस्टेन टू वट आर रिक्वायर टू मीट द सस्टेनेबल डिवेलपमेंट गोल्स नेक्स्ट स्लाइड So sustainable development goals. So I was part of that commission, and there are several reports which have come out. I don't have time. आज मुझे समय नहीं है उनके बारे में आपको बताने के लिए. लेकिन आप please website में जाइए और काफी 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 information है report scientific information जो human institutional capacity और और sustainable ag intensification के बारे में बात करती है. So to conclude, next slide please. To conclude. Uh, universities and institutions students scholars faculty and uh, and policy makers should focus on societal needs problem solving and make students the lifelong learners and then that should reflect in curriculum research and strategic planning and then emphasis should be on building transdisciplinary teams with strong collaboration and partnership beyond single disciplines not only biophysical uh, sciences but also here social sciences with multiple institutions including private sector as well and the third in uh, third is organize institutional programs based on thematic areas not based on 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 the departments or the strength of, and it should be based on the strength of the faculty and the available resources centers of excellence and incubation centers and innovation labs should be built as a business models and they show the linkage of agriculture with food agriculture with nutrition agriculture with health agriculture as business agriculture as technology agriculture as innovation we well, have it is possible and that should be that should the uh, our audience should be students researchers policy makers donors and civil societies and lastly human and uh, human resource and institutional capacity should be enhanced and then they should become more sustainable and for this to happen change is needed towards thinking systems research and thinking in terms of longer programs so again thank you so much for giving me this opportunity aap sab ka dhanyawad agar koi hindi mein bolne mein galti ho gayi to kshama kariyega thank you very much aap sabko namaskar respected chairman uh, and the dignitaries on the dais and also the fellow colleagues See, so my topic is uh, agricultural education, a way forward to meet the challenges of the future agricultural production. Agriculture, we know that art and science are producing the food, feed, and fodder to meet the our requirements. The word agriculture is derived from the words agar, that means uh, fields, and the culture cultura means uh, culture. now india has witnessed several agricultural revolutions and which has led to the our country from the begging bowl to the exporting stage and uh, the life of the people have led from the nomadic stage to the establishment of the villages and towns and states now for all these things we need human resource uh, development so human resource uh, development we need for the younger generations like students and also the particularly the citizens who are directly or indirectly involved in the agricultural production so it is uh, nothing but the training skills knowledge and behavioral attitudes of at the workplace so the 
Human resource development mostly involved with the state agriculture universities and also the ICR, our Indian Agricultural Agricul uh, Indian Council of Agricultural Research is uh, involved in the human resource development. The main objective of the agricultural education is to establish the entrepreneurship and uh, skill development uh, to face the future challenges and to make the students uh, job providers rather than the job seekers. To improve the overall infrastructure in terms of the student and faculty amenities pertaining to the teaching and learning. Now in India, we have more than 75 agricultural universities and also the ICR institutes which are directly involved in the human resource development. At present, the agricultural BSAG basic level constitutes about eight semesters of four years in which the knowledge, skills, and ability is taught to the students. Knowledge in what to do, and the skills is how to do, and ability is how to simplify and convert the functional skills into the useful ones. And experience is also important in agriculture because it is, involves the lot of practicality rather than the theoretical science. So how to minimize the losses and uh, increase the efficiency is very, very important because going for the high input, we know that the cost of cultivation is increasing and farmer is not getting any uh, that is desirable income, net income. The students ready program in which uh, about six months uh, he is uh, supposed to stay in the farmer's fields and also attachment to the uh, industry and uh, experimental learning program is another program constitutes the six months program uh, that is one semester in which the two modules has to be selected by a student in which he has to handle the projects that is uh, raw whip and as well as the implant training program now come in addition to this to tap the brain and as well as the skin skill bank of the outstanding and super innovative professors, uh, the ICR has introduced the ICR National Professorship, ICR Emeritus Professors, ICR Emeritus Scientists, ICR National Fellows, ICR PG Scholarships, Merit Come Scholarships, Center for Advanced Faculty Training, Summer and Winter Schools, post metric uh, Scholarship for SCST students, Extra Moral Research, and Voluntary Professors after retirement. Yes, it is just recently introduced this program. After the uh, retirement also, the professors are experienced persons who want to cont uh, contribute for the skill development as well as the, uh, that means knowledge uh, improvement for the youth. They can directly involve and uh, uh, give the training to the people. So the human resource development is plays an important role particularly for the young and as well as the middle-aged people who are involved in the agriculture. Human capital directly influences the agricultural productivity by affecting the way in which the inputs are used and combined by the farmers. A farmer is a human resource. One has to accept it because what makes them a resource is their brain or wisdom, how to utilize other resources and modify them into useful things because the farmer knows that how to use and what sort of even wastage is also used by the farmer and uh, because of on his own, own experience. Hence, training to the farmer, taking their wisdom into the confidence while framing the policies is very, very important. The technical, next please. The technical, next, next. The technical and professional education in agriculture, there is a dire need to develop the quality human resource to face the future challenges of the complex challenges of the agriculture arising due to changing climate, threat to sustainability, inefficient use of the agro inputs, and depleting quality of natural resources, and rise in competitiveness under globalization pressure. The amount and quality of trained technical and professional manpower are critical factors both in agricultural development and human resource development. And this 
human capita is scarce at present. Investing in technical and professional education has a high multiplier effect when trained personnel are properly employed as extension agents, trainers, researchers, program managers, policy makers, and in the private sector too. Many developing countries still have a serious shortage of the trained manpower in agriculture and fields related, related to the agriculture. Uh, coming to the, uh, regarding the women, uh, that means increase in the female extension workers because lot of work is supervised and as well as done by the women rather than the men. Men are involved, but uh, they take uh, direct involvement uh, actually. The operation, most of the agricultural operations are performed and managed by women. This can be achieved by increase in the number of female students in agricultural colleges and increase in resource allocation for extension services directed to women farmers. Now at present, it is going on in many of the uh, universities. If you count, it is 50 to 50% 50 of the male and female ratio. Even some of the uh, colleges, it is 60 to, is to 40 ratio because of the meritness. So this year, particularly if you observe, uh, all the three or four toppers in the, at the all India level in the ISU, that is civil examinations is only the woman and not the uh, our uh, male population because of their interest and uh, also the seriousness they show towards the work and the devotedness towards the studies also. In addition to college education, education through the polytechnics, certificate training courses, input dealers, that is DC program is very successfully led in the Telangana, and all the dealer, dealers uh, involved in the pesticide sale and as well as the seed sale are involved and bought to a common platform. This is a challenging uh, a program taken by the uh, state government of the Telangana. And uh, since uh, more than 10 years, uh, since a decade, this program is very successfully um, uh, going on. Our guru, uh, Dr. Jalapada is uh, in, the, in this uh, audience. And I remember very well that it is we who has started this program. And when some of the NAM people have come forward, how to educate the more and more people. And we thought that uh, whenever a problem comes, the farmer first uh, goes to the input dealer and ask that, what is that I have to do? He will go with a sample, and what is this, what uh, chemical I have to spray? And this is when today, also, it is going on. So to reduce or to bridge the knowledge or improve the knowledge of the input dealers, specifically, this program has been uh, introduced a decade back, and it is running very successfully in Telangana state. It is going on in collaboration with the uh, manage uh, the government of Telangana. And this is a very successful program. And they see people, this is a certificate-oriented uh, training program. They themselves, uh, themselves will burn the cost, uh, entire cost of the training program. Uh, not even a single paisa is uh, borne by the state government. And uh, here, and the role played by the KVKs and also data centers in Telangana, we, are have the, we have got the district agricultural advisory training uh, uh, centers are there. Uh, this program is also going on. It is uh, totally funded by the state government and also our uh, university, that is uh, Professor Jayashankar Telangana State Agricultural University. And uh, Department of Agriculture, NGO organizations, and ICR are uh, doing the commend commendable job in this direction. Coming to the, just I would like to say, the some of the impact, uh, tech impact of the technologies, though green maneuvering, green maneuvering is a uh, very old pra uh, practice, uh, this uh, growing of the green manures. Now, in Telangana, three crops are called as the gold. That is, white gold is a cotton, red gold is the chili, and uh, uh, turmeric is the yellow gold. And these three crops are grown in large scale with a commendable, uh, and the people will also get a lot of good income, and they will go some of the good years, particularly this year, the cotton area has increasing abnormally, and at the cost of the uh, this uh, chilies, because the chilies uh, got damaged in the last year. The vermicompost, and also the one variety which was uh, developed by Professor Jason Telangana State University, named as the Telangana Sona, it is specifically recommended to the our diabetes students, uh, diabetes patients, because it has got the very low glycemic uh, uh, um, index. That's why many traders are coming forward and. Uh, uh, this is, this is uh, uh, sold by the 
uh, Telangana state and also apart from that we have got the submergence tolerant uh, varieties uh, our sw uh, Swarna sub 1 successful story and also in the Bangladesh BR 11 sub 1 is well known particularly wherever the uh, there is a problem of the floods and zinc deficiency uh, the, to remove, remove it earlier it was a 30 kg package was uh, going on now it is only 20, uh, 2 kg packages and that's why uh, this improvement is also there and uh, other one is the direct sowing uh, in the paddy uh, which uh, reduces the drudgery and as well as number of labor that is required and mechanization in the case of the maize and it's also reducing the labor and we have the another technology uh, where the labor force is uh, reduced is uh, mechanization in the case of the cotton uh, recently introduced uh, sowing uh, planters that is uh, they are getting very popular in addition to that we need uh, harvesters yesterday also there was a problem and we require a lot of uh, um, focus yeah. over and uh, apart from that uh, coming to the vertical farming precision farming and uh, nanotechnology and also uh, aquaponics and also mechanization use of the robots in agriculture and these are all the new emerging sciences which requires a lot of uh, data and also the some of the farmers are using particularly in the uh, other uh, countries and extension programs like uh, training programs normal training and also certificate oriented training, training programs group discussions and kisan melas to popularize the our uh, technologies whatever we have we have and also establishment of the agri clinics and agri business centers the focus should also be given here and the use of the uh, this is uh, ICTs uh, also uh, we need it and finally I want to conclude uh, that uh, the suggestion made uh, through this paper is that present curriculum is well framed with 183 credits but requires a more practical approach for skill development and understanding problems in different levels of agriculture we suggest for increase in number of credits to practical component while studying the UG degree that is 50% theory and 50% practicals as abundant information on theory is readily available that is Google is a master at master degree one can go or acquire more knowledge with the project work to gain the expertise two years of experimental learning is needed through handling of different project rather than one year as a aggregate field is not only vast but also diverse and it is practical in different situation and problems related to them are also very very important yeah the uh, the slide shows that involvement of the Chaitanya University agriculture students uh, from the first year onwards so that uh, they can understand very well the practical things and also they can know the problems real problems and that may lead into the development of the practical solutions for the problems uh, faced by the farmers uh, instead of one year itself two years, uh, uh, the program has been uh, uh, advised uh, finally what I want to say is that uh, it is not the multidisciplinary approach we need the transdisciplinary approach of the uh, research and as well as the education also to the agricultural base because it is not only the uh, multidisciplinary transdisciplinary where we, we we should know the nanotechnology computer science and mechanical engineering and also electrical engineering and other subjects also needed the present farmer if at all he wants to tackle the problems of the challenging problems of the tomorrow and today also so with this uh, uh, please, uh, uh, I want uh, just two minutes, two more minutes to hear. It's over. Professor Charalu. Today, so thank you, sir. Dr. Charalu nicely covered the various development taking place in agriculture. के द्वारा भी जो अपनी productivity की बात की गई है कि 316 million tons we has been achieved और इसके साथ ही साथ जो है अपने wheat के case में 106 और paddy के case में 130 million tons we has been already achieved. आ, एक चीज आपने कहा कि अभी इल्ड गैप 70 परसेंट है नंबर वन चीज जस्ट आई वांट टू क्लेरिफिकेशन सेकंड थिंग 
कि जो मन न्यूट्रिशन वाली प्रॉब्लम कुपोषण की समस्या निश्चित तौर पे एक बहुत बड़ी जटिल समस्या है इसमें दो राय नहीं लेकिन आईसीआर एंड यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूशन दे हैज बीन ऑलरेडी डेवलप्ड मोर देन एट्टी फाइव वराइटीज फोर्टी फाइव वराइटीज चाहे वो पैडी हो चाहे वीट हो चाहे मेज हो चाहे पोटैटो हो सभी में लगभग जो है करीब जी हमारा ये क्वेश्चन है कि कैसे उसको फूड हैबिट में मल न्यूट्रिशन की प्रॉब्लम जो हमारी लोकल स्तर पे डाइट का जो उसमें कैसे उसको समाहित किया जाए उसके लिए क्या रणनीति होगी इस पे थोड़ा सा प्रकाश डालने का कष्ट है थैंक यू वेरी मच मिनट की में हम हमारा वैलिडेक्टर समापन कार्यक्रम समारोह शुरू करेंगे थोड़ी सी तैयारी करके बाहर अगर कोई डेलीगेट्स है तो उनसे अनुरोध है कृपया अंदर आके बैठे या आपके जो सहयोगी भी कहीं होंगे तो एक बार फोन कर देंगे तो पाँच मिनट में ही शुरू करेंगे विल नॉट टेक एनी ब्रेक विल स्टार्ट राइट अवे